So, okay, here we go. Gemini 3. This is the model a lot of folks have been buzzing about for months now, maybe even longer. Seriously, it feels like every other week there's been some leak, some rumor, or another, is this the one moment? And now it's actually out. Google and DeepMind just hit publish. The AI crowd is going wild. And yeah, I just want to pause and talk through what this means, especially for solo devs like us who spend every day wrestling with tools like Claude Code, Codex, Cursor, all that stuff. Just real quick, I'm Daniel. I've been living in the iOS trenches for, what, eight years now? I started off freelancing, working with clients, figuring out what actually works, and honestly, what just burns you out. But after Dub Dub 25, I kind of flipped the switch and went all in on solo dev life. Since then, I've shipped over 10 of my own apps, started building in public, and right now, pretty much all my energy is going into Crafters Lab. It isn't just another tutorial site or some AI clone farm. This is my actual home base. It's for solo devs who want to use AI like a real teammate, not like a vending machine. So yeah, I'm keeping it short, but if you want your own solo command center and be part of the crew, that's what Crafters Lab is for. And yeah, if you're still on Patreon, massive thanks. But heads up, everything's moving over to crafterslab.dev. Honestly, if you want to get in and lock your membership before things get busy, and before I roll out real pricing, now's the best time to join for real. Come be part of the crew. So first things first, the arrival of Gemini 3 isn't just another, here's a new model headline. This one feels bigger, not because of hype, but because of the timing and the way Google is positioning it. If you read through the release, it's clear. They're not pushing the personality AI angle that OpenAI has been on lately. Instead, Google is focusing on practical capability, reasoning, planning, staying concise, actually doing the work instead of just chatting about it. For solo devs, that's huge. Honestly, the last thing I want is another AI that's just a quirky chatbot. I want a tool that can handle the grind, help me reason through gnarly bugs, plan a refactor, Maybe even take a first pass at wiring up a Swift UI view or cleaning up some Firebase rules. That's the kind of thing Gemini 3 says it's aiming for. I can't help but get my hopes up a little, even though, you know, every new model launch promises state of the art. Um, and yeah, looking at the first wave of benchmarks, Gemini 3 is actually topping Ella Marina for the first time beating out the old Gemini 2.5 and even landing ahead of Claude Sonnet and GPT 5.1 on a bunch of tests. Honestly, I take benchmarks with a grain of salt. Real world shipping is always messier, but it's a good sign that Google's not just talking a big game. But the big thing for us, they're aiming this at agentic work, not just answering questions, but powering agents that can plan, build and follow through as someone who's spent way too many hours trying to coax real multi-step thinking out of Claude or Cursor, that gets my attention. All right, here's the fun bit. Alongside Gemini 3, Google's announcing a whole new product called Anti-Gravity. And if you're sick of surface level prompt and pray workflows, this is worth watching. The pitch is simple. Anti-gravity is supposed to be a coding playground where agents can actually do work for you, build UIs on the fly, run long tasks, even organize your inbox or handle real workflows across different apps. As solo devs, that's pretty much the dream. I mean, how many times have you tried to get Claude or Codex to handle a whole bug fix loop, plan, code, review, commit, only to end up babysitting the process? copy-pasting context, and double-checking every move. This new wave of agents, powered by Gemini 3, is supposed to actually handle long-horizon tasks, not just spit out a one-off code snippet the models tuned for following through. It can plan, execute, and hopefully not lose the thread in the middle of a big session. Don't get me wrong, there's still a lot to prove. I haven't run it in my own stack yet, and nobody I know is shipping production apps on Gemini 3 today. But even seeing Google steer this hard into let the agent build, not just suggest, honestly, it gives me some hope. We need tools that can handle more than just one-liners. 
maybe, just maybe, this is a step closer to that AI teammate feeling that's always just out of reach. So let's keep it real for a second. Just because there's a new model doesn't mean everything changes overnight. For most solo devs, what matters is simple. Does this actually save me time? Does it help me build better apps with less friction, less babysitting, less vending machine coding? Here's where Gemini 3 gets interesting. It's not just going into the API and AI studio. Google's pushing it into their Gemini app, search, even the new dynamic view features where the model can build interactive layouts, not just text dumps. You can supposedly ask Gemini 3 to render a layout, generate interactive UI, even spin up a mini portal or tool. If you're used to wrestling with prompts and screenshots just to get Claude or Cursor to see your Figma file, the idea of a model that can actually build a usable interface is honestly wild. And then there's this Gemini agent thing where in the not too distant future, you'll be able to tell your agent, hey, triage my issues, run my release scripts, clean up my repo, and the model will just do it. That's the vision anyway. Uh, for solo devs, especially the ones uh, tired of copy paste workflows and context spaghetti, that could be huge, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There are still gaps. Custom skills, like the slash commands and MCPs we use in Claude code, not really there yet. Tight integration into indie workflows, we'll see. And obviously, I haven't had a chance to ship anything with it myself, so everything's still first impressions, not a field report. But here's the honest takeaway. Gemini 3 feels like a legit upgrade you can actually touch today, not just a flashy demo uh, for some future AI, and that alone is a big step forward. So yeah, if you're still here, seriously, you're a legend. Not gonna lie, it means a lot that you'd hang out all the way to the end. I don't know, sometimes these new model drops just come and go, but honestly, Gemini 3 actually feels worth a closer look, especially if you're in that solo dev grind, trying to find a tool that'll take a little weight off instead of piling on more. And yeah, if you want to keep going deeper or you just want to see how all this stuff plays out in real projects, come check out crafterslab.dev. It's not just another tutorial graveyard, you know? That's where I put all the raw notes, those little devlog breakdowns, screen recordings, zipped up starter kits you can actually grab and use the good stuff. But honestly, the best part is just having a place to swap war stories and riff with folks who are doing the same thing. Sometimes you just need to hear how someone else got burned by an agent bug or finally figured out how to get a model to stop hallucinating. So yeah, if you want in before it gets noisy, now is honestly the sweet spot. The crew's still tight, still hands on, and you'll get the full behind the scenes on all the workflows, Notion playbooks the actual systems that keep my own stack from melting down when I'm pushing a new app. It's the stuff nobody ever shows in public, just real indie life. And then of course, there's the Swift and Swift UI library. This is the stuff I really use. Not just random filler, but the deep dive resources that help me fine tune models, spin up my own MCP for Claude code or cursor, and actually make tools that work for solo devs, not just teams with uh, 20 engineers. The ops lab, that's where all the new agent workflows go first. Notion templates, automations, every little experiment I'm running to keep my stack from falling apart. So yeah, if you want to get in before it gets crowded and prices jump, now's the sweet spot, no joke. The crew's growing, but it still feels super hands-on. Would love to see you in there. Swap war stories, maybe learn a trick or two from what you're building. So yeah, anyway, thanks for hanging out. Keep building keep shipping and uh, don't let the hype or the bugs get you down. Peace.